Good morning, folks. This is Longshot1982 here with another statue review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Daredevil Legendary Scale Bust by Sideshow Collectibles. Now, before I get started, uh, Daredevil is one of those characters that is, as I said in the past, is a symbol of overcoming challenges. He overcomes just because the man is blind, it doesn't stop him from you know, being a lawyer, doesn't stop him from being an excellent martial artist, doesn't stop him from being one of the top contenders, one of the most amazing superheroes in the Marvel Universe. Being underestimated, of course, but usually at the uh, enemy's uh, dismay. Now, here is the Daredevil number one from 1964. Um, it's, uh, it shows his first appearance. This is my own personal copy. It's also the first appearance of Foggy Nelson. And uh, what do you call when this character was coming in to uh, be? Stan Lee was unclear whether he wanted to be, uh, you know, if he was going to be scorned for putting out a blind superhero. He didn't want to offend anybody in the blind community. But uh, he put it out anyway as a test, uh, and it actually wound up playing in his favor because many people who were blind took to him. Many people that had any type of, not even just disability, but any, everybody took to him because everybody could see that, wow, you know, this guy could overcome so many challenges, you know, why can't I? You know, so young kids were like, wow, this guy's really cool. And I was one of those kids. So this is his first appearance from 1964. And here is the bust itself. This is the exclusive edition. It's exclusive for two reasons. It has the a name plate, which is really cool. Now, I usually never put the name plate directly with my bust. I usually place the name plate with my Colossus or with my Magneto with a statue of the character or some sort of diorama or other display. But it's really cool because it shows the city tops of Hell Kit Hell's Kitchen, which is, you know, where he originally comes from, where he was born and raised with his father, uh, uh, what do you call it? the uh, Jack, Jack Murdoch. And here is the bust itself. Now, this is back when Sideshow gave a shit. This is, I think, the first or second legendary scale bust that they released. The, the detail in the face, I mean, he's got so many pop, pork, pimples, zits. I mean, every, every, all the texture of the skin has been sculpted beautifully. The bust itself with his, uh, with the horns and the eyes, the eyes are very glossy. You know, because he is he is blind. Now you don't normally don't see the redness in his eyes because of the red mask. People think it's all it's just all one color. Not the case. His eyes are red regardless. You know, in, in you know in the regular red version, but it, it's more it pops more here in this legendary scale bust. Uh, I love how the fact that you know it's a small bust. It's actually very easy to display. It's maybe nine ten inches at most. You know, it's very solid. It's very heavy for its size, much like everything else Sideshow came out with when they first released it. You know, now they hollow things out to save on shipping, but they they basically, you know, they basically started to cut corners with a lot of stuff that they did. Just wanted to go make a turnaround for you. I don't have a lazy Susan, so please forgive me. Look even the detail in the spine. The costume. His costume um, is yellow and brown. I don't know how the color comes out on my computer. It looks like a, a reddish tint, but it's not. It's uh, it's brown. But the uh, the D on the Daredevil is red. So that's pretty much it, it folks, uh, for t today. Uh, please sub me and please let me know what you think of this piece. I believe that busts are very much underappreciated in the statue community. Everyone's entitled to collect whatever the hell they goddamn well please. But, you know, for me personally, you know, I love the detail in the face because, as I said in the past, the detail in the face on the busts are more pronounced. And I'm a huge fan of art expression. And I think, you know, this reserved look on his face you know, really gives a nice example of what the Daredevil is all about. And one last critique I have with what way Sideshow has been doing their reviews, I mean, doing their statues and stuff. On the bottom here, they have, they put the, 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 the felt, that padding, throughout the entire base of this thing. Now they just put the little four little dots instead. 
And uh, I think, you know, it's a little, another little corner that they maybe cut. I like how it's like this, and it feels good. And it, once you put it down, it's more secure. It doesn't jimmy as much as with just the little dots. But anyway, thank you so much for listening again. Uh, please sub me. Please let me know what you think. Thank you so much. This is Longshot1982. Out. Thank you.